The Salute Food and Wine Festival and Olives lended itself to uh, doing an event that would really showcase the food and the wine in a way that Calgary hadn't really seen. We collaborated, brought David uh, in, and uh, all of a sudden we had this theme, uh, hot chefs and cool food. So we got a hold of some friends. Hey guys! John House has been a friend for a lot of years and he's been throwing some really cool parties. Obviously the whole team here at Olives has just been fantastic in creating an event that's really unique for Western Canada. We'd worked with Ned for years and had a lot of fun with him and, and then we had met another really cool chef recently out of Montreal, Chuck Hughes from Garde Manger and uh, thought this is his scene. I left Montreal at 6 this morning. I haven't really stopped and I've had fun the whole time. So I like to come out here and do these events to yeah, meet people and have a good time. When I found out I was cooking against two of possibly the best chefs in Canada, Ned Bell and Chuck Hughes, I didn't know what I was getting myself into and it was truly a frightening thing to think about. For me, this is the core of what wine and food is. It's about the discovery. It's about great families, great producers coming together in the pure essence of food and wine. Garth in particular with uh, David had a vision of how they wanted to put the food and wine components together that really showcased Olives. Olives has got you know a lot of space that's distinctively set up. The cocktail area was a natural to serve some fantastic cocktails, really interesting out of the box. And then they set up five different stations that had food and wine pairings. So it was great, kind of a progression through the night and uh, gave people a chance to really discover the restaurant, see how it's set up and then see this great Iron Chef competition. Ladies and gentlemen, You just gotta be willing to, at start, just go and know that what you do and what you are is talented. When you're in the midst of six chefs in a kitchen going crazy for an hour, I mean, you just don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, I burnt things, I got burnt, I burnt people, I mean, uh, you know what, I'll do it again. I mean, it's, that's the way it goes, like, it's fair play. I was a little starstruck at the beginning. I was pumped to have them cooking and be in the kitchen and kind of learn and see what they're gonna do. I just tried to have a game plan of a couple of things that I knew I could do really well. Um, I had a lot of faith and respect in my sous chef, Steph, I can't say enough about. She's an amazing, amazing cook. We've got 300 people buzz, people drinking, people you know eating, people just tasting food and wine and then all of a sudden you got this cool event in the middle of it. Wow, I mean I saw a lot of really happy faces tonight that were like, wow, I've never done anything like this before. I needed those last 10 seconds, to be honest. That hour goes by so fast, like you don't realize how fast it goes. When I was here, uh, 22 minutes. It's a lot of pressure, but it's a lot of fun. I think the overall consensus was people were surprised with how elegant, refined, but more than anything, taste is what wins the game. And JP's dishes tasted better. It was the last thing that I ever expected. All the other guys, Ned, Chuck, uh, Rob, would turn their hats off to uh, JP and Stephanie. Uh, great effort, but you can't fake that. Well earned. It's been a great event, the people were awesome. Wow, what a lot of fun. Salute, uh, we'll be back, bigger and better next year.